Melanie and I have always focused on the energy of water, its structure, its ability to carry information, and our personal connection with a living consciousness. We've deferred to others with more background and experience when it came to contaminants and filtration, and since water's different everywhere, we've suggested people work with local experts to help them create that clean canvas with which to begin the process of energizing their water. But again and again, we've found that getting clean drinking water was one of the biggest hurdles for a lot of people. I've talked with some of you over the years and I've emailed hundreds of others about filtration options. Gravity water filtration has always been our favorite for drinking water because it emulates water's natural cleansing process as it slowly percolates through the earth. Years ago, Melanie and I were fortunate to find a gravity system with a glass holding tank, and we've used these for years. But the company discontinued production of the glass tank, so options for others have been plastic or metal for a long time. Now, obviously, plastic poses a number of concerns, and it has electrostatic effects on water that are not desirable for longer storage. And metals tend to rob water's energy by stealing electrons. And then sometimes the water has a metallic taste. We've never felt comfortable endorsing anything until now. We almost could not believe it when the water machine came across our path. The first thing that caught our attention was the fact that it was all glass. Finally. And the next thing was that it's two large filters could potentially filter five to six thousand gallons before needing to be replaced. Now we were used to filters that were filtering a thousand gallons if we were lucky. Now let me just say something about filters. The filter's the main component, and if it's no good or if it fails, then the whole concept is out the window. Activated carbon is the most potent ingredient in a filter, hands down. When micron-sized particles are compressed, it will filter even the most difficult contaminants. Yes, including fluoride, heavy metals, and perfluorinated compounds, as long as there's enough of it. So layers in a filter, yeah, they're nice, depending on what they are but not if you have to sacrifice the amount of carbon. These two large activated carbon block filters in the water machine have a lifetime that is potentially years. This depends on your water source, as opposed to the two to four months Melanie and I were used to. And they are the reason the water machine can remove such a long list of contaminants. Please look at the lengthy list they are removed during the extended life of these filters. The water machine also has a holding capacity of three gallons and we were used to two gallons. It's made of this beautiful hammered glass so it's sturdy. I mean and you can see how really beautiful it is. But more importantly our testing of the water's energy and its cleanliness, its ability to remove these contaminants beyond what the documents show, was positive across the board. This water tastes fresh and alive. It honors water's true state of being, and it doesn't cost a fortune. We are giving this a two thumbs up. Now, gravity filtration systems can also be easily embellished with treatments that we introduced in the book, Dancing with Water. They'll take the water to the next level while it sits in the holding tank. And this is where our work begins. So let me share just a few simple, inexpensive ways to enhance this already wonderful water. The simplest thing to add is a tensor ring. Just place it over the spigot. You can see here that I have a tensor ring. There are a couple that we would recommend in this circumstance. The small copper tensor ring or the silver tensor ring for more refinement and a higher vibration. So tensor rings create that column of energy that organizes water's molecular structure. While they're on the spigot, they're bringing structure and coherence 
to the energy, excuse me, to the water in the tank here. We're going to leave some links below to the articles on these different subjects that I'm going to speak about so you can learn more if you haven't read the book or if you haven't found our website and are familiar with these products. And speaking of rings, any of the elixir rings can be placed on the spigot. These are made of the earth stones. This is an example of adding information to water, the vibratory frequencies of the stones in each elixir ring. And there are also things you can add to the tank itself to raise the water's energy. One nice addition is something called myofen stone. This has a long history of water purification and remineralization. It adds a small amount of minerals to the water and it can slightly raise the pH. But even more importantly, its rich mineral profile delivers balancing frequencies to water. Shungite is another excellent addition. Here I've got two different forms of shungite. As another form of carbon, it has purification effects as well as the ability to bring a unique structure to water with numerous benefits for those who consume it. I'm going to let you read the article about this fascinating stone from Russia. Just follow the link below. There are lots of crystals and other stones that you can put directly in water. Any of the quartz family are great additions because quartz has the same molecular structure as water. It helps water hold its structure. So the quartz platonic solids are nice because they also carry the resonance of the basic geometries of the universe. And that's important because water carries all of these geometries too. Anytime you add the earth stones, you're adding vibratory information that can be very subtle and yet also very powerful. We have an article on the website about how to use the earth stones to make potent water elixirs. Laminar crystal orbs are another simple enhancement. Made of ceramic with mica, they're an ancient way of bringing in life force. And remember too that water responds to magnetic fields. The gentle effects of paramagnetism, especially over time, are extremely energizing for water. So I have a crystal tube filled with our paramagnetic blend in the holding tank of my water machine. It's just another easy way to refine the water while it waits for you. And there's one more thing we want to mention. When water sits in stillness, it prefers to be in the dark or at least to be out of direct sunlight. And when it is still, water loses energy if it's exposed to direct sun. So if the area where you place your water machine will ever be in the sun from any direction, it's going to be a good idea to create some sort of cover for it. Here we show a simple cover made using a natural fiber sheet. You can drape a cloth over the water machine. And remember, colors are great for water. Even a king-sized pillow cover can be used or fitted to do the trick. And there you go. If the water machine appeals to you, we've arranged a 15% discount at thewatermachine.com. This discount is automatic if you use the link below or if you forget to and get to thewatermachine.com, use Dancing with Water during checkout. Enjoy this lovely water, and as always, enjoy the dance.